Before we jump into any of the Orion camo stuff, you guys have to see the clip that I hit before unlocking it. You guys have to drop a like for that insane javelin quad. For polyatomic camo on the launchers, you have to get double kills, and I got a quad. Psst. JDs and gentlemen, we have done it. We have unlocked Orion camo on Modern Warfare 2. But I didn't even realize that all you have to do is finish polyatomic camo, and then you just get Orion camo. There's no other challenges. If we go to the gunsmith, and we go to customize camo, and then we look at Orion camo, you just have to complete 51 polyatomic challenges, and then you get this. There's nothing else. There's no other challenges. And that really threw me off, because I thought for sure I was going to have to do, like, 51 Orion camo challenges for every single gun, but that's not the case. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about before we dive into this video. But yeah, if you're excited to see some Orion camo gameplay on Modern Warfare 2 today, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Season 1 Reloaded for Modern Warfare 2 is getting really close. I'm going to try to cover as much as possible. Let's talk about Orion camo. As you can see, the camo has been updated. It wasn't super recent, but the camo, at least at some angles, looks a lot better than it used to. But there's also a lot of really weird things going on with this camo in Modern Warfare 2. If we take a look at a lot of the base guns in the game, like the SPR and the SAB, this little like swap canted irons class that I made, You'll see that I have gold, platinum, and polyatomic and Orion unlocks for these guns. For some weird reason, these camos are just bugged for some of the DLC guns. If we take a look at the M13B, I can't get platinum or polyatomic for this gun at all. I don't know if it's this gun specifically because I have all of the camos for the Victus XMR and I can work on the progression for the Bass PSMG, just not this gun. Part of me wants to think that this has to do with the Chimera being tied to this gun, so maybe when Season 1 Reloaded drops and we have access to that assault rifle, then maybe we could progress the camos for this gun too. But for now, I just have gold unlocked because I did those camo challenges and I have Orion because when you get polyatomic done for all of your guns or at least 51 of them you then unlock Orion camo for everything doesn't matter that I don't have these done you just get Orion camo for every gun and the reason I have the M13B here is because I actually think it is one of if not the best looking gun with this camo I'll show you guys why we're gonna do some tier one in public match I know I could just go to private match but I think it'd be more fun in pubs plus I don't think I have a class made in private match with this gun I think I've got one of the variations of the combat knife yeah, it's the damn blade. If we flip this thing around, it's kind of hard to see in the firing range, but it actually looks so sick. This looks like some kind of knife that you'd be paying like hundreds of dollars for on Counter-Strike. But if we get an inspect off, you can see the colors. It actually weirdly looks more colorful in the preview at times. I do think one of the more unique inspections you can get, or at least like one of the more unique colorings on the gun, is when you have more green on the gun. But yeah, since instantly unlocking Orion camo completely blindsided me, I didn't really have time to make like a full-blown polyatomic video. But at the same time, I really don't think it's necessary because like I was saying before, just getting headshots for polyatomic camo in this game is actually really easy, especially if you play tier one. But since this is the Orion camo video, I will kind of briefly go through things again. That way, if this is the first video you're watching, then you'll get the best tips and information on how to get these camos fast. This could be a decent place to inspect it. Look at that, dude. The Orion camo is actually really starting to grow on me. I really like it, especially when you ADS with the M13B. You can see it actually kind of has this animated Damascus pattern on the rear sight. I gotta say, I really do appreciate the fact that they've updated the camo and made it more animated. I have no clue if Orion camo is gonna continue to see updates, but I mean, it could actually use even more animation. I'm not too sure if it's gonna get more updates and if they make it more animated or like you know change the color patterns and stuff but at least at the time of recording this video orion camo is the last camo you can get in the game we currently don't have any kind of information if there's an obsidian camo in the game regardless of whether it actually is obsidian camo or just something similar to it you know like it has the same challenges if i'm not mistaken there was someone who actually completed all of the weapon camo mastery challenges in this game that means that you have to get 100 kills with gold camo 200 kills with platinum 300 kills with polyatomic and 400 kills with orion for every single gun in the game that's more or less a thousand kills with every single gun using specific camos. To be perfectly honest, it's kind of insulting that all that yields you is the little charms for the gun's mastery. Currently, you will not get anything else for doing that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you have to go in order. Like, I think you have to go gold, platinum, polyatomic, then Orion, which is kind of a bummer because since I have Orion camo, it's like the first thing I want to use. I don't want to use any of the other camos quite yet. I don't know if I'm going to do the full weapon camo mastery challenges where you try to get the charms for every single gun because currently there's no guarantee that you'll get a camo for doing so. Honestly, just getting the weapon charms feels like a waste of time and there's other things I could be doing with my life. I feel like there's a pretty good chance that later on Infinity Ward could end up rewarding players with the camo. It could be Obsidian, it could be something else, but there hasn't been any kind of official announcement about that, so it might just be a massive waste of time. Right now at this moment, I'm good, man. I got Orion camo. It looks nice. I'm gonna use that. I put in all that work. I did all this shit. I'm ready to kind of just, you know, chill out a little bit. I've already kind of taken the time to fix my classes. I have like a mixture of good classes, but also some really goofy shit. Like currently I've got this Canted Irons uh, swapping class. This class will be kind of useless in tier one, but I can use it in core. Ooh. Bro, when you're in tier one, you really focus on that laser. Holy cow. What the? That was rude. Gonna need a 10 page apology after that smack. <laughs> Shit, let that slide. Let's let that slide while well, I'm sliding over here. <laughs> 
What the f- Ben Burn. Here's the SPX with Orion camo. I mean, there's so many guns I can check out and inspect. I... Don't tell me my game crash. Oh, we're good. All right, we're on shoot house. Let's hit. Ooh. I'm not gonna be able to swap until I have my fast hands. What are you doing there, ghost? Wait, oh, he died? Okay, I was gonna say double hit marker. Are you joking me, bro? But yeah, man, now that I'm done with the Ryan camo, it feels like a big weight has been lifted off of my ass cheeks. What the f- Ooh. No! No! Dude, imagine quad head feed with this. That would be insane. I mean, are you even going for camo challenges? I don't even know how you explain that playstyle. I did want to check out my stats post Orion camo, although I have been playing quite a bit since I unlocked it. I think I finished up the camo on Saturday. Currently recording this video on Monday, and these are my stats. I played five days, nine hours, 879 games, 1.2 KD, 0.74 win loss. It's like slightly above average stats. Oh. 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 I did not know where he was. I don't know why I'm actually staying on Tarak. I don't know why I think this is a good idea. You know, Tarak is good for long shots and all that stuff, but actually playing... To be honest, that's kind of how I've been feeling about the maps. Like, I do like some of them, but there's just not enough maps in this game to play, man. Like, it's, it's starting to get stale. And since we're past the first month of this game's release, I want to ask you guys something. Do you guys feel like the honeymoon stage of the game is over? Like, are you still playing the game since launch? Are you guys still enjoying watching Modern Warfare 2 videos, or is it getting kind of old? I don't mind openly talking about it. Like, I've noticed that everyone who posts Modern Warfare 2 videos, they're not pulling the same views that they did when the game was first out. I do feel like that could be a YouTube thing. I mean, I don't really keep up with Twitch too much. I don't know how that's going for everyone over there, especially when it comes to Warzone 2, because that's really not my focus. I just figured I'd ask, like, I'm curious to know, because I don't really know if that has to do with the game just being stale and people aren't enjoying playing it, so they're not going to watch it as much. Since I personally feel like I'm out of the grinding phase of the game right now, I feel like I can take a little bit more time to make some more unique and creative content. Hopefully that can pull some more views and get some more attention on the game. Talk about bringing back the OG funny moments videos on the game, map tutorials, myth busters, open lobby videos, all that good shit. I do feel like season one reloaded is coming at a very good time. We need some new content. We need some changes. We need some fixes to the game for sure. Fixes to the crashing, the stability, all that stuff, but also some new things to do. I mean, I think shipment will hold people over. I did see some stuff saying that it's going to be more like OG shipment where you can't really climb the crates. Although back in COD 4, you could still get on the crates if you were playing old school mode. It'll be really interesting to see if you can do some glitches or if you can use the deployable covers to actually still get on top. I don't necessarily mind that they're going to make it more like OG COD 4 shipment because the map itself might actually have more flow. But dude, the drill charge spam on shipment is going to be insane, which I don't necessarily mind because it means that people who try to camp and hide in the crates are going to have a much harder time. Those could be some of the most annoying players, whether they're the ones on the sides or in the middle. Crate. I personally mostly run throwing knife, but I'll probably be changing to drill charges soon, depending on how people actually play this version of the map. Hard points to rack again. Are you fu- But yeah, I was gonna say I'm actually really looking forward to trying out the raid on Modern Warfare 2. It could be unique, it could be a lot of fun. Also, dude, I've got the stupidest classes. I've got an overkill noob tube class. <laughs> Riot Shield melee class. I've got a class for when I absolutely give up on playing the game. Got a Bryson RPG class. This is gonna be my shipment class, dude. At least if the enemy team is like really annoying. Got this TAC M class for going for a headshot feed. I've got the canted irons and stuff. It's really like a spray and pray kind of class. Got like a semi-serious P90 class, SPX sniping class, M13B tryhard class, and then we've got our swap sniper class. So that's just kind of how I want to be playing the game now. I want to be able to play with a variety of guns, try out different things, kind of just goof around and have some fun now that I'm done with the camos. I want to go for a headshot feed. I think the knife without any kind of like skin actually looks a lot better. Like you get more color on the knife itself. Look at that. Check out the tack end here. You got some decent colors. I feel like you don't see as much green though. Like you see it in the preview, but not in actual gameplay when you're playing the game. <laughs> Ooh. Splitsy poo? I thought that was a person. What was that? No! No one showed up to my birthday party. Oh. Come on. This is how you get the polyatomic. We gotta show him. Bro, what? Dude. I know you're back here. No! Oh! What? What, what are you doing? Oh, you really found the furthest corner in the back. I didn't know you could get there. Oh, come on. I know you're out here. I know you're out here. What are you doing? What? Oh. Bro. No! <laughs> come on, man. Ah! 
and then I saw the headshot. Oh my, then I get a headshot, of course. Even though I was talking about this on the Terrak game, I did want to kind of backtrack and talk about the honeymoon phase of this game. I really do think that it is over. I mean, I've noticed a complete shift in the lobbies that I'm playing now. It really does kind of feel like the people who play more casually or really wouldn't play as much, they're not playing right now. The majority of the lobbies that I get are people jump shotting all over the place, like this guy, CDL skin, right shield on the back kind of stuff. I don't think the game is dying. I've seen a lot of people saying shit like that, and it's just so stupid. This is literally the biggest Call of Duty launch in history. It's not dead. But I do think the game is getting less casual. We've all been playing for over a month now. We've got shit figured out. We've got our guns unlocked. We've got our attachments. We have CDL skins being released. You know, like that. that's the whole point. I think the reality of the situation is that the honeymoon phase is gone because we've got everything figured out. When things don't feel new or fresh or that you have to learn something, then that's when people kind of start, you know, having those weird takes of saying that the game is dead, but it's not really dead. It just feels like things are less new because you've figured everything out. You don't have anything else to learn. And I know for a fact that's the case because that's kind of how I currently feel about the game. It's not a terrible game, but it's also not perfect either. And I've talked about its flaws in great length with the hopes that things get fixed. Because realistically, at this point, the only way to keep people on this game is to fix the existing issues and then keep giving us new content. Because obviously you can't leave the game in a broken state and then not keep bringing out new content and keeping things fresh. And hey, if I do get bored with the game because I feel directionless because I finished all the camo challenges and I don't feel like there's anything to do, maybe I will just go for those stupid little weapon charms. I have not made that decision yet. What I'm still waiting for Infinity War to do is update private matches and allow us to save custom games and presets and stuff like that. Custom private match games have been having all kinds of weird issues. Like you try to load a certain game mode, but it just doesn't work. It like gives you the dev error and keeps kicking you out. They've got to fix that kind of stuff because I want to do open lobbies. I want to have all kinds of fun and do crazy shit on this game, but we can't do it if the game's not functional. Oh, no. oh dude. I actually don't even have a quad fee with Orion camo. I'm so emo. I can't even do it with a P90. I can't, I can't even get a simple quad feed shooting people that aren't even paying attention. Dude, I swear to God, it's like getting Orion camo is bad luck. Now that I have the camo, I can't hit anything. I get cheese, I get shot in the back, I miss, I fail everything. This camo is a sign of a person who's completely worn down. Like, they don't even peek. They just don't peek, you're weirdos! I just want a simple clip. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unlock Ryan Camo on Modern Warfare 2. I do apologize for not being able to actually unlock it in this video because it was just kind of a surprise. But at least for now, the camo grind is done. I do have a gut feeling that another mastery camo for this game is going to be coming later in the game's life cycle, just like Obsidian Camo in Modern Warfare 2019. So with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did it and you want to see me go for more mastery camos, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Greetings, nerds. Headshot Hacker here. And today I'm going for Polyatomic Camo on Modern Warfare 2. Okay, what was that? <laughs>